our firm has represented some of the finest recreational properties and stewards of those properties for three decades now. These are some of America's last best places, and stewards of these lands are true conservation heroes. They have trusted our team to show the property's unique intrinsic value, monetize that value through a sale, and see to it that the next landowner will protect the legacy that they've built. As part of our 30th anniversary, we've created a short film series honoring these landowners and others. We have used this opportunity to share our behind the scenes look at what the landowner has done here and to celebrate their accomplishments. Today's story is not only a story about building up the land and great architecture, but the building and raising of a family. You'll see a patriarch determined to provide his family the wholesome experience of growing up with the land and sharing God's great creation with others. You'll see how their plans changed as they encountered hurdles. When they couldn't find a finished property, they partook on a decades-long adventure to build and create what is now one of Georgia's best combinations of recreational property and architectural excellence. We're excited about sharing this family story as we celebrate and take an inside look at one of the most improved and polished shooting properties in the Red Hills. Welcome to Terra Chula. Few times does mankind come together and make something original, something world-class, where the goal is to blend the best living space with the finest of the outdoors. These visionary leaders have their ear of the very best consultants, craftsmen, and managers. However, there are modern properties, less well-known, that have gone under the radar of most. One of the more recent and most private is Terra Chula. Terra Chula's story is unique. Like a self-made man, this property didn't start out with riches, but with desire, a need, to see three girls raised with a reverence for the outdoors. That sounded simple enough, but when the time came, the right property couldn't be found. There are less than 200 of such properties in the Red Hills, and the few that became available don't stay on the market long. What they needed, when they needed it, couldn't be bought. Instead of pausing and risk losing impressionable years, they decided to take a property, build it up almost from scratch, and make it their own. Well, in 2006 and 7, we were looking for a place that we could uh, be about 30 minutes from Valdosta. Um, that's where our headquarters were at the, at the time. And we wanted a place for our family and our business to be able to come out and do retreats and spend time out here. And we ended up spending more time and more time out here. And then in 2014, we ended up moving out here full time to, to finish uh, rearing our girls out here. So we bought this land when all the kind of real estate values were going down. And uh, you know, we just said, hey, God, this is your land. What do you want us to do with it? And so he allowed us to keep it and to, to be able to rear our family here over a 17 year period. And so this land is truly blessed and it's a beautiful piece of property with the oaks and the different pieces. And he just tells us to take care of what you have and what he has blessed you with. So I believe that we have done that. And I believe when you walk in our home, you can actually feel the blessing as you come in. But one of our biggest things was, is when we bought the land, you couldn't see to the oak tree 20 feet out here. So we completely uh, took everything back down to the natural habitat. It was an old cow farm at the point and they grow pine trees then. And so we took it back and wanted to build a quail plantation. And so we uh, hired a, a few people to help us design. And so we knew where air flows were gonna be, where the prevailing winds were gonna be, the time of year we were gonna be here, and uh, when the sunsets were. Well, our first question is I just thank God for the ability to get up in the morning time and to be healthy. And the second thing is I kind of our shower and stuff looks out the front of the property, kind of where we're standing here today. And it's just green grass and it's just a peaceful place. And then you walk downstairs and you, grab a cup of coffee and then I usually do my uh, morning devotion on the back porch and there's you know it's just over the lake and there's a big fountain out there so you're hearing the water go and it's just a you start your day there and it, it gives you the ability to kind of take on what the day might bring you. At my firm we have a saying that are folks that know land and they're folks that know architecture but rarely are they the same people. I can tell you that here at Terra Chula they know it both. The Holmes family knows how to create places that people enjoy. Their company is one of the largest builders in the South. For this signature project, they brought in the best of the best. Experts from Field Sport Concepts as landscape architects to design the grounds, lodge, and signature oyster pavilion, and shooting clays course by the folks who did Braze Island. This is certainly a private five-star resort designed around enjoying God's creation. And we wanted the connections to really work between the main house, the lodge, the cottage, and we wanted it to feel that you could walk in the shade, 
you could be out here in your loafers or your boots and it would still feel the same. So as we built the hardscapes and the landscapes, we just designed it and we wanted enough distances between places that you kind of felt a relaxed, but you kind of wanted to go there. I think that the special part about the property is coming in the driveway. And we redesigned the driveway to come in under the oak trees to experience it. And then coming over the hill and then the connection pieces with the paths and, and the, the lodge and the way that the, the sleeping quarters are set up for the main area. From the minute one enters the property and loops through the Moss Drake Live Oaks, the experience starts. It won't end until you leave and you're not going to want to leave. Ryan is right. The experience of approaching the main house is one of a kind. I found myself instinctively searching for a place to compare it to or a style I was familiar with. By the time I walked through the front door, they made it poolside, my brain relented to the fact that there is nothing like this. The textures, garden, sense of space, depth, was all planned and executed perfectly. What they built is what we all yearn for, creating memories and enjoying God's great outdoors with family and friends. I'm Caroline Holmes. I grew up at Tarantula and I've lived here since I was eight and they bought the place whenever I was born. So I grew up riding horses and hunting here since I was like one or two. I rode with my dad on the front of the horse when I was probably like two. I started riding horses and I'd run on the front with my dad when we were on hunts and quail hunts and stuff. And then we started, I got older and I was like, well, I want to ride my own horse, but there wasn't enough. So I would make my dad get on the wagon and I would ride his horse on the front and like lead everybody throughout the hunt. That's probably my first memory here. It taught me how to really like be independent and like figure things out myself. If something happens, I gotta figure it out because there's not always people here. Like I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, I gotta figure it out. And I've just, I don't know, I've just learned a lot, you know, hunting wise, fishing wise, and like life wise. You know, when I move away, I'll know things that other people won't know just from living out here. Whether it's family or staff, which here is like family, everyone has the same goal. We want to we want make sure that when people leave here, they have a good experience, whether they're shooting skeet or they're going hunting or they're going fishing or they're going trail riding, whatever it is, we want to make sure that they had the best time that they could possibly have when they come out here. I think my favorite activity on the property is really, you know, the, the, the first three weeks of quail season. It's where you're excited, you prepare all year, I and mean, we start planning back again in May and June, and then it takes all summer when it's the hot, and then you get your first you know, few cubby rises and you're on the horseback, and you're out there in the woods, you're seeing the dogs work, and you're just kind of seeing what's happened this whole year. It gives you a lot of time of reflection. I asked 16 year old Caroline, when you're 85 with your significant other sitting on the front porch on a rocking chair reminiscing, what is going to be the thing that continuously comes to mind about Terra Chula? As a dad myself and knowing what Ryan and Amanda sacrificed to create this experience, her answer brought tears to my eyes. As one day, like many of us, I want my kids to have the same answer about their childhood. Oh gosh, that's hard. Um, probably just how good of an atmosphere my dad has set up for us here. Like, I mean, I grew obviously I grew up here and grew up coming here before we permanently moved here. And like, I just, I mean, I love just riding, getting up and I can come out here at 6 a.m. I can come out here at 12 and ride horses and ride around and just how much freedom I grew up with. Like, I mean, I feel like I would not be the same person at all if I did not grow up here and grew up coming here. Like with the same, just like even people that come here and I've met, I mean, I've met thousands of people that have come through these doors and that I probably won't ever talk to again. But it's cool to say that I've met them and like, I don't know, just, I mean, I've had really cool experiences out here and just family stuff, like everything's very family oriented. And so, I mean, I grew up with my sisters out here, like riding around and getting stuck and breaking stuff. And like, that's kind of like the point of my memory, like just having a good time all the time and not having bad days, like just making everything fun. I think the first thing that comes to my mind is kind of coming down the driveway and then seeing the house going, oh gosh, we're getting ready to be home, and then just the relaxation. You know, when you live in a city and everything's so busy, um, right here there's nobody. And um, they'll they come in and be able to sit outside by the fireplace and just say, okay, and the lodge is there, people can stay here, and, but they're not under your feet. 
And I think those are the things that, are, that I'll miss as we, as we move on to a different time in our life. To many of us, land is a conduit for which family memories like this are made. And helping families move through life stages is what we do. We hope you've enjoyed our celebration of this very special place. Creating these short films is hard work and way past the role of a traditional real estate broker. But we know that by sharing the stories like Terra Chula and the lifestyle that the Holmes family created here makes a difference and encourages others to do the same. We actually placed Terra Chula under contract before we started this film. In fact, the very first day we placed it on the market. Here too, with one call to our Rolodex, we brought in another great landowner who will undoubtedly pick up where the Holmes family left off. If you're considering investing in a property like this and you don't already know us and how our knowledge can work for your advantage, we strongly recommend reaching out to us early on in your search so we can help you two capitalize on our difference. For 30 years, our mission has been to prove that doing the right thing for the land, sacrificing short-term gain, and creating space for families to enjoy also creates value. Whether it's investing in recreational lands, working lands, or a combination of both with our social storm properties, we are 100% dedicated to this niche. Remember to, God created this world, but he gave mankind dominion over it. We would like to share our gratitude to the current landowners and those that came before them for being great stewards of this very special property. We hope you've enjoyed an inside look at Terra Chula and the legacy this family has created here.